all villagers. The master possesses them. It mustn't hurt them. Hurt guards, though. They seek out an object of great power. Comrades, tear this place apart. If we don't find the Shadow Artifact, Lord Zarak will have us mocking out the demons for the next millennium. Yeah. 
History of Galomir, Volume 1. During the dark time that was Galomir's not too distant past, it was King Peregrine who thwarted Zerok the Necromancer and his plan to enslave the land. Zerok, once the king's mage, had fallen out of favor with the ruler for conducting outlandish experiments on the bodies of the dead. It was said that deep within Peregrine Castle, the dead were restless. The dead are to be honored, not kept as the playthings of alchemists, declared King Peregrine as he banished Zerok from the castle. All of Zerok's living dead were routed out and destroyed. Zerok, being an unforgiving soul, went into hiding and vowed to wreak his revenge on the king. <laughs> History of Galamir, Volume 2. Rumors of ill-doing and dark deeds abounded through the land of Galamir. It was whispered that Zerok had employed the aid of shadowy demons to help build a vast castle. Under the cover of night, Zerok's dark army spilled forth from their corrupt haven. The army marched south across the Silver Mountains and through the Silver Woods. Soon afterwards, even the pumpkin lands belonged to Zerok. The folk of Gallows Town cried out for help. Save us, good King Peregrine. Retaliation was swift and violent. King Peregrine's forces, led by the brave Sir Fortescue, drove Zerok's army back from Gallows Town. Oh, there was much rejoicing, but the war was not yet over. <laughs> History of Galomir, boy. <laughs> History of Galomir, Volume 3. News that Zerok's army had now taken the floodlands caused much concern. From this vantage point, Zerok could march west to take the enchanted forest. This sacred place would prove a bitter defeat if it fell into the hands of the evil sorcerer. It was Sir Dan Fortescue who once again led the king's militia to rid the demon host from the land. Yet the evil wizard was cunning and had prepared an ambush. Titanic battle ensued, of which history has never seen the like. It is said that the day would have gone to Zerok, but for the skill and valor of one man. Fortescue led the charge deep into the massed ranks of the undead, felling Zerok's bodyguard, the fearful Lord Kodok, and before finally succumbing to his own mortal wounds, slew the traitorous sorcerer with a mighty sweep of his sword. <laughs> History of Galomir, Volume 4. The forces of evil were destroyed, but at a terrible price. None but a handful of the king's militia returned from that field. Galomir lost a whole generation of young men that day, including Canny Tim, the legendary crossbowman, and Fortescue's second-in-command, who fell in the first volley of arrows. Zerok's body was never found, though if it lies unmourned in an unmarked grave, then no one in Galomir would shed a tear. The shadow demons that had fallen under Zerok's banner were unnatural creatures that did not belong in the world of mortal men. The king declared that they be banished, entombed under the pure earth of the enchanted earth. Imprisoned within an impregnable box of the king's design, the demons were buried deep underground. Their tomb was sealed with a magical device that has since come to be known as the shadow Artifact. <laughs> Tourist Guide to Galamir, Part 1. The land of Galamir is a wondrous land of breathtaking sights and adventure. If it's beauty you are looking for, be sure to check out the sights of the enchanted forest. Scale the heights and see the nests of giant dragon birds. Seek out weird and wonderful plant life. Go ooh and ah at the sight of baby dragon toads splashing about in the crystal clear ponds. 
Why not take a walk through the Pumpkin Valley? Pumpkin is Galomir's favorite dish, and about now the valley is just bulging under the weight of young podlings awaiting harvest. Tourist Guide to Galomir, Part 2. If it's mystery you're looking for, then the seasoned adventurer should travel to the ruins of King Peregrine's castle. Yes, this is the fortress from which the fabled King Peregrine once hailed. It is said that the King's crown was lost in the dungeons below the castle, and that the ghost of the region himself now haunts these cold stone passageways. Spooky. Why not take the swamps and seek out the mythical town of Mellowmead? This place was once said to be a place of fantastical arcane alchemy, but an age has passed since it was consumed by the murky swamps. Perhaps great treasure awaits any adventurer that can locate its watery resting place. To whom it may concern, I must make haste for Xerox men will be here within the hour. I have taken the crucifix from the church. It is the key to a key. I used the cross to make the attached cast. Then I had it destroyed. It is my hope that this cast falls into the hands of a just and good hero. Signed, the town mayor. A crucifix once stood here, but the mayor took it. Find a replacement and see how the church should really look. Smith's Monthly. Old man Willie Green of Gallows Town was awarded Smithy of the Season by our readers. His outstanding casts have produced many intricate and hard wearing iron goods and sculptures. Willie only uses the finest of metals in his work and is particularly noted for his magnificent busts. <laughs> Old man Willie was quoted as saying, Aye, when I get pumping on me bellows, there's no stopping me. It's all in the rhythm, up and down, up and down. I've always been inspired by the stories of Stanya Ironhewer, <laughs> the greatest smithy there ever was.
Dear sir or madam, on my travels across Galamia, I have come across many mysterious and enchanting finds. However, that which filled me with deepest dread was discovery of the tomb of the shadow demons. The key to their dank prison, the mysterious shadow artifact, is now in my possession. Yours fearfully, the town mayor. Capture that greedy profiteer, the town mayor. Take him to the asylum dungeons. Give the fat boy a good going over. Locate the shadow artifact. Bring me back something nice.
Only when you are truly worthy as a hero will you be able to ascend to the higher level of this hall. When you have paid homage to all of the heroes in the lower hall, the ghostly stairs will then become solid. Damn, damn, damn. Don't be shy. I've seen you giving me the eye. You may be weak and feeble like all men, but I like you, Daniel. <laughs> now listen up. Your bow and arrows are fine for itty bitty jobs, but if you want to pack some serious heat, you should take this spear. <laughs> This is the Garden of Zerok. Nothing here is as it first seems. To leave this maze, you must first seek out the one called Jack of the Green. So Fortis Guild. My name is Jack of the Green. I am the master of riddles, and this maze is my domain. You are free to leave, but only once you've answered four riddles. Puzzles so fiendishly difficult, so perplexingly complex, that no man has ever solved them. Ha ha ha. Now, try my first riddle. <coughs> At night they come without being fetched. By day they are lost without being stolen. Thank <laughs> you. 
My star riddle was but a trifle. I always like to begin with an easy one. Return hither, you will not find my next conundrum so simple. I live for laughter. I live for the crowd. Without it, I am nothing. Show the clown you care by surrounding him with smiles. Turn in haste, Sir Knight, for I wish to see the despair on your face when you hear my next cryptic puzzle. Face like a tree, skin like the sea, a great beast I be, yet vermin Frighten me. Ah! <laughs> 
did you spot my bluff? I pretended that riddle was hard, but in truth it was obviously an elephant. This time, however, I almost pity you. The answer to my next vexing enigma has eluded the finest minds of a whole generation. Come to me. I tolerate the moon and stars. I can't abide the sun. Banish me with torchlight and you'll see me turn and run.
lost you. It took me ages to come up with that darkness one. Very well. Outrageous as it seems, my vast intellect has been matched by your badly decomposed brain. Return at once and I shall give you your prize. Grant you free passage through my maze. Find your own way out. forth like a supernatural yo-yo. Maybe the master will make it harder to find those magic egg cups. Is good. You are back on the battlefield, yeah? This is good. People say to me, Sturngard, what do you think of this sword or that axe? But I say to them, NINE! Modern warfare is a question of science, the science of shields! <laughs> I think maybe you should take my shield, yeah? It is magic, here for this cure. Some say it is better to have a magic sword than a magic shield, but I say to use it, this is rubbish! So long as you use it properly, the shield will make you invincible! <laughs> 